Hello everyone, welcome back to my tantalizing bites. Today we are making sweet and sour tamarind chutney and spicy tangy cilantro mint chutney. These are my favorite condiments and I always have them in my fridge. Before we get started, let's hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can stay updated on all of my videos. We will start with the tamarind chutney, also called imli ki chutney. We will need one 14 ounce pack of tamarind. We will soak our tamarind in a bowl with about four to five cups of warm to hot water for around 30 minutes. After about half an hour, we will loosen up the pulp from the seeds. Now we will strain the pulp into our saucepan to remove all the seeds. Once our pulp is strained out, we will add two cups of sugar, a teaspoon each of ginger powder and salt, a tablespoon each of cumin and red chili flakes. You can add half to one teaspoon of red chili powder. Now place your pan on the stove on medium high heat and mix everything really well. Bring this to a full rolling boil on medium high heat. Once it has come to a full boil, you're going to lower the heat to a medium and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or until your desired level of thickness is reached. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of vinegar. This helps preserve the chutney for longer. Simmer for five more minutes and then set it aside to let it cool. Once it has cooled off, pour it into an airtight jar and store it in the fridge for up to two months. Now let's get started with the cilantro mint chutney, also called hari chutney. We are going to take one big bunch of cilantro, two big handfuls of mint leaves, around six to eight hot green chilies, and I'm using serrano today, six to eight cloves of garlic, an inch of ginger, which I'm going to peel, and the juice of two lemons or limes. I'm using lime today. I have washed up all my herbs and I'm going to place all the ingredients into my blender. To this we are going to add two teaspoons of salt or to your own taste, a tablespoon of red chili flakes and a tablespoon of cumin, quarter cup of white vinegar to help preserve the sauce, two tablespoons of neutral oil, I'm using canola today, this also helps preserve and keep the color fresh, and finally we will add about half a cup of water. Now blend everything for about two minutes or until smooth. You can also do this step in a food processor if you want a chunkier chutney. Pour 
pour your chutney into an airtight jar and store it for up to three weeks in the fridge. Enjoy these delicious chutneys with your favorite snacks, barbecue items, rice, baratas, and so much more. And thank you for watching my video. I'll see you next time. Bye.